Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about myself, uh, written by George Moses Horton. Now, before I go into summary and analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, this work by George Moses Horton is very uh, interesting. Um, within this work, you know, uh, George Moses Horton... Uh, Horton doesn't really leave anything to the imagination here. <clears throat> this is a man, you know, he is old. Um, you know, when you look into the life of George Moses Horton, he was a slave. Uh, and um, when he was young, he felt that he was intelligent. He felt that he was smart. Uh, but he couldn't express it. I mean, he was a, a black slave in America during the era of slavery. Uh, and he couldn't express his intelligence. Uh, he couldn't express his skill with words and poetry. He couldn't express his creativity. And in this poem, it's this hunger for uh, intelligence, hunger for knowledge. Uh, he wishes for education. He wishes uh, for development. Um, he says that, you know, there's lost opportunity because there's a chance that he could have been really wise. You know, he gives us really vivid and bright imagery within his poetry. And, it, and this is one of the reasons why poetry is so amazing, because in, in poetry, you don't just say, you know, I wish I had got a good education or I wish I went to school or I wish, you know, or, you know, now I want to do better. In poetry, you paint pictures. In poetry, you create images. In poetry, uh, you paint a picture with words. And he paints a picture by telling us that in his heart, there's like a bird that has been trying to fly, that's been trying to spread its wings in his heart to express itself, but he never got the opportunity when he was young. His mind, his heart, his spirit, his soul, you know, they've been waiting to express, to explore, to you know, test the, the, the limits of his intelligence. And, um, you know, George Moses Horton here, um, he says that now he's going to try, he's going to be ambitious, he's going to go as far as he can, um, and that um, he's not going to keep looking at the past for what he failed at. Um, so this poem is, is, is very powerful in terms of uh, Moses Horton here expressing his feelings, expressing his desire, expressing his missed opportunities. You know, in terms of deeper meaning, you can understand what it, what it means, you know, that you were a slave and now you had a chance to read and write and, and, and write poetry. And if you've studied the works of George Moses Horton, you know, he, he goes all out to express his feelings about life, about, um, you know, just the human existence. Um, so George Moses Horton here, you know, he talks in his poems, you know, he talks about liberty and slavery. You know, he talks about life. He talks about nature. Um, you know, it, it leaves a lot to think about. Um, so we do see the ambition that he talks about within this poem. He does carry it through. He does go through with it and explore his knowledge, his intelligence and everything. Uh, but ultimately... You know, myself, he's really writing about, you know, again, I always say when you look, when you're searching for the meaning of a poem, I always look at the, the title. The, the poem is titled Myself. So he's talking about himself. He's talking about his life, his regrets, his dreams, his hopes, his wishes. You know, he, he missed out when he was a young man. But as an older man now, he's going to try his best. He's going to, you know, hope for, you know, look at the celestial um, try to reach a better version of himself, get as much education as he can, and express as much as he can. Um, so it's, this is a very fascinating poem, very rich poem, uh, where uh, Moses Horton here writes about himself, expresses uh, you know feelings, and also it's it's inspiring. It says that you know I'm not going to focus on the past. I'm going to focus on the future. I'm going to write, I'm going to do, you know, write my poems. I'm going to express my intelligence. I'm going to let this little bird fly. Um, so this, this poem is inspiring. The mood of it, it starts off sad. It starts off the tone, the mood is a little bit sad, a little bit, you know, of regret. 
But in the end, it's like, you know, even though I'm still alive, you know, I'm still alive, I'm still going to work hard, I'm still going to chase after my dreams, and I'm not going to give up. So, very beautiful poem by George Montessori, and um, that's, that's what it's about. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.